can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Let's have the circle O. From here, let's have point B outside the circle O. And let's connect O and B. So we have segment OB. Now the intersection of segment OB to the circle O, let's call this as A. Now from here, let's draw a tangent BC that is this BC, this segment BC is tangent to circle O. Now this angle right over here, this is just 20 degrees. And then let's connect O and C. So we have a radius OC. Then let's connect A and C. So we have segment AC. And this angle right over here, let's call this as X. Now our goal in this question is to find the value of X. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now suppose you pause this video. Now let's see if you got the correct answer. All right. Now, to answer this question, I prefer two different methods. So the first one is by using the angles formed by seconds and tangents. The second method is by using the remote exterior angle theorem. Now, let's begin with our first method using angles formed by seconds and tangents. All right. Now, to answer this using angles formed by seconds and tangent, what we're going to do is to extend this segment OB. And to do that, let's extend this. So we have here a diameter, and let's call this point B equal to D. So we have a diameter AD. Now from here, we know this angle measures X degrees. And using the inscribed angle theorem, we can say that this arc DC must be equal to twice of angle X, which is 2 times X degrees. Now, since this AD is a diameter, so arc ACD measures 180 degrees. Since we know that arc DC is simply equal to 2 times x degrees, so this arc AC must be equal to 180 degrees minus 2x degrees. Now from here, we can now use this theorem, angles formed by seconds and tangent. And it says, that the measure of an angle formed by intersection of two tangents, two seconds, or a second and a tangent at point outside the circle is half the difference of the measures of the intercepted arcs. So the bigger arc minus the smaller arc then divided by 2. Now using this, we can say that 20 degrees, this 20 degrees must be equal to 2x degrees this is the larger arc minus the shorter arc, which is 180 degrees minus 2x degrees, then divided by 2. So we have an equation, 20 degrees equals 2x degrees minus 180 degrees minus 2x degrees all over 2. And we will focus on this equation and we can also for the value of x. So to do that, let's multiply both sides by 2. And then let's distribute this negative sign to 180 degrees and the negative 2x degrees. Now, combining like terms, 2x degrees plus 2x degrees, we have 4x degrees. Then add 180 on both sides, 180 degrees on both sides. 40 degrees plus 180 degrees, this will give us 220 degrees. Then divide both sides by 4. So 220 degrees divided by 4, this will give us 55 degrees. And that is the value of x degrees. So x degrees using our first method, we get 55 degrees. All right, so how about the second method using the remote exterior angle theorem? So let's begin. Now to do that, notice that OA and OC are radius of the circle, meaning they are congruent. And therefore, triangle AOC must be an isosceles triangle. And isosceles triangle, the base angle must be the same. If this angle is x, the other angle, the other base angle is also equal to x degrees. Now, since segment BC is tangent to circle O, we have here 90 degrees. Now, let's call this angle be equal to angle Y. And why not? Now, from here, we can now use the remote exterior angle theorem. 
So it says, the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite interior angles. So using this triangle, we can say that this x degrees must be equal to the sum of two opposite interior angles, which is 20 degrees and y degrees. So our first equation, we have x degrees equals y degrees plus 20 degrees. Now the second equation, since we have two variables, we can use the fact that if we add x degrees and y degrees, we get 90 degrees because this is right angle. So we can say that x degrees plus y degrees equals 90 degrees. Now, using these two equations, we can now solve for the value of x. Now, from the first equation, let's subtract y degrees on both sides. And then to solve for the value of x, let's add these two equations to eliminate y degrees. And if we add these two equations, x degrees plus x degrees, we have 2x degrees. And 20 plus 90 degrees, we have 110 degrees. Now, to solve for x, let's divide both sides by 2. 110 degrees divided by 2, we get 55 degrees as expected. Therefore, using two different methods, angle formed by seconds and tangent and remote exterior angle theorem, we can say that the measure of this angle x must be equal to 55 degrees. And as always, we are done.